Hi all, it's Barb from Teach My Craft Studio. I have a haul to share, but I also wanted to do a kind of project share. This is my 52 blocks in 52 weeks. I think there's seven rows on it now. Six or seven. <laughs> but anyways, that's where I'm at on that. I did do a couple of pillowcases. I've had this... Um, Supergirl, Wonder Woman, Batgirl fabric for a while and decided to make a pillowcase out of it. I'm already using the one. I made two. The other one I kind of did the opposite. The one, this has the, the, this one is the body on the other one and then this one's the cuff and then this one's just reversed. So, so I thought I would share those. Get that out of the way. Then I went to Hobby Lobby. I was hoping to find, well, I found more of these, the project boards, the green, the green project boards. They still had plenty of these. So I picked up two more. I just thought you only needed one. I said, I decided to get a spare in case I decided, thought of something else to use it for, or I messed one up. So <laughs> I said, for that price, I'm just gonna buy an extra. I was hoping to find the portfolio, the portfolio type one that I bought last week. I think it was last week when I was there um, that I'm using for my poster board because when I was putting it away, I realized I should have bought two. I should have bought one for poster board and one for foam board. Right now, some of it is shoved in the same one, but I found more foam board, so it would have been better with two. Um, also at Hobby Lobby, Paper Studio stuff was on sale. And I was just about out of eight and a half by eleven cardstock, so I picked up that one. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I had to go in when I was doing a project the other day, and I'm like, "Hubby, Hubby said, do you have any white cardstock? Because I said I thought I had more over in my printer in this room sits on an Alex drawer, and I thought I had white cardstock in one of those drawers. And I said, "There's lots of blue in there," but <laughs> which that was from his purchase. <laughs> I said, but there's no white. And he goes, well, I have some over in in, in his Totally Tiffany cart because he, well, he had took one of the carts when I bought the last two pack. So I said, well, I'm just going to grab a handful so that I have some down here. I said, I have some on the printer stand, but I didn't have any in my cardstock thing. So I wanted to have a handful there too. And then I bought the 12 by 12 album refills because I only had a few of the page, 12 by 12 page pictures left. So, and then at Meyer, I bought this patriotic fat quarter bundle. Now, this fat quarter bundle, I think is identical to the one that I seen at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I think it's the same exact bundle, but I wanted to make some patriotic masks. So I picked this up. It's got this one in it. This one's kind of just a floral one, but this one, oops, this one, hold it the right way. I thought it was kind of cute, so the bicycles and then the just stars. I have a little bit of patriotic fabric, so this will probably make some for me, some for hubby, and probably some for our daughters, but um. I also bought a couple of these at Meyer. I noticed they raised their price on them. They were cheaper than anyone else. And now I think they're really close to Michael's price, unless Michael's raised their price on them too, which is always possible. Um, what I bought at Target is not crafty. I bought some of the snow cone icebreakers. I like this gum. It's got xylitol in it which is good for dry mouth because it activates your saliva glands so my my doctor actually recommended that I chew and, and it's sugar sugar free I'm pretty sure icebreakers is because he specifically mentioned this one so but and then I got the tropical freeze first I just picked up the snow cone and then I seen the tropical freeze and I bought some of these I bought fun stuff at Target, but it wasn't crafty. <laughs> and then Monday when I went to the um, migraine doctor, 
hubby says, you want to stop anywhere else? I said, well, Joanne's not far from here. And I said, and I wanted some fabric to add another, a second border to this, possibly a third, but I at least want to do the second. And this fabric I bought two years ago. And as I suspected, they didn't have any of it left because before they had it in kind of a purple background, I've got it in a black background and a white background. So I wanted the purple one. They had one that was similar. And I got, when I looked at it, I'm like, when I found it online, I'm like, well, that might work. And I was I'm like, eh, I'm not sure. And then I seen this one and I thought this one would work better. So, because it had, I like that it had the little yellow flowers and this one has yellow flowers in it too. So I think that that one will work. And then if I decide to add a third border, which I'm not sure about that yet, I bought just gray. Eventually I'll have to buy some backing fabric and the batting, but I wanted to get the front done so that I could measure it and see what size batting I need to buy. So that is all I bought. Um, yesterday was craft day. I didn't actually buy anything yesterday, but I did place an order on Monday. Um, I had a coupon for my birthday from the HSN card and it expired Monday night. So I ordered a Stamps of Life stamp die that I hadn't had. She didn't have anything that was brand new. She had some new new to HSN items, but they weren't brand new. Um, I didn't own them, but one was a Z fold that HSN kept calling it a double Z. And I'm like, that's not the double Z fold because she has a double Z fold, but that one's different. This one's just a Z fold. <laughs> But I didn't order that one. I kind of thought I can do a Z fold, though I did like that hers had a scalloped edge rather than a straight edge because a Z fold card is not that hard to do without a die. But I ended up ordering one that had, I think it was called a stand up word card base, if I remember right. It came with three words. I think the words were celebrate hello and party, but I'm not positive on that. I know she has extra words that you can buy for it. So I decided to go with that one because I was looking for something. At first I was looking at some Tiffany bags and I'm like, oh, they're on clearance and you can't use the coupon on clearance stuff. So I didn't get that. And then I did order on Saturday from Tiffany because she had an amazing national scrapbook day sale. Um, between my club inspire discount the automatic discount that they gave for National Scrapbook Weekend and the special Totally Tiffany code for scrap National Scrapbook Day, I got the stuff that I bought for like half off. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to order the buddy bags. I'm going to replenish my buddy bag supply and a few scrap rack pages that I was either out of or I only had like one or two left. So... I ordered those. I had more on the list. Obviously, it's my list at first that I had. I had printed it all out because I was trying to see how much it cost. He goes, you're going to spend that much? Because it was like $200. I'm like, no. That I, said, I just kind of wrote down everything. And I said, I'm not sure I'm ordering it all. But if I do, I will pare it down. And when I said I'd already, he goes, did you spend as much as what was on that list? He kind of forgot I'd said I wouldn't. I'm like, no. I said, I got it down. I said, I got made it basically just enough that I got the free shipping and so I spent I think 126 you have to have a $125 order for free shipping now so I said I spent 126 but I said I got a lot of buddy bags and a lot of um not a lot of scrapbook pages but some scrapbook book pages and I bought one of the stamp and die organizers as well because my Joanne has brought back the pen and pencil palace, but they seem to have gotten rid of the stamp and die organizer because there's no longer a slot for it. And when you search for it, instead of staying out of stock at this location, it says not available at this location. So I guess they're not carrying that one anymore at my store, which made me sad because I was hope I was I was actually thinking of a couple spaces that I may want to put one of those, but. I said, I'm at least going to order the one and get it in to place where I want it. Because it was, it was less than half price for that one between, because it was also on special. So I still need to find 
my Michael's cubes. Last I checked the web, they, they seem like they're out of stock even online now. So yeah, it will probably be a while before they come back in stock because it seems like people everywhere is having problems getting things back in stock. I did decide I want to check and see if I put another, another uh, one of the 16 inch ones in that spot, if it'll be too high. Because I was just looking at the half cube, which is our only eight inches high, if you lay them horizontal. So I know I need at least one of the half ones because I need one to go vertical, but I'm gonna check. I think I'm gonna stack two I have and see if that'll be too high. Because I kind of want the extra space to tuck some buddy bags in. I do have a few extra spots that now that I, where I put those um, shoe shelves, if you've seen that video, that I want to replace the photo boxes with buddy bags. And that's going to, in those spots, it's going to be kind of stuff like refills for um, a cup, one of my, one or two of my trimmers I have refills for. Um, I have some blade refills for like my Tim Holtz craft knife and that type of thing. Cause I don't mind those being under the desk cause you're not into those constantly. You only have to get those, those out when you need to replace the blade and my adhesive refills I think are going to go under there. Well that one I probably get out a little bit more, but I have a love hate relationship with my, um, ATG. G a T G gun. Sometimes we, we get along fine and other times um, it doesn't like me. Now my the Meyer grocery store I shop at has a new version of this where instead of just a roll it's got like a cassette refill. I keep looking at that one. <laughs> I just hate to pay full price and at Meyer, you kind of got to pay full price because they don't do coupons. But I'm like, I really like that it's got that cassette cartridge refill rather than, because sometimes getting that rolled in there, it, it's difficult. But for me, sometimes just operating the gun, okay, the glider can be an issue. But that's all I feel like I'd share today. I'm hoping to get another row of that sewed together. My goal is to try to finish the, the top part at the end of the 100 day challenge. Today is day 95. I think it, it had six rows in that picture now that I think about it for day 95. So, but that, that's my goal is to try to finish that. The top part for day 100 will be the final. Hopefully with all my borders and everything. We'll, we'll see if I make that. <laughs> I may not get all the borders on it. We'll see. But anyways, that's all I've got to share today. I want to thank you for joining me and I'll catch you next time.